My name is Tony Bancroft, and I am an analyst with Gedali Funds. On Thursday, April 2nd, 2021, we hosted, virtually in conjunction with GDOT Research, our sixth annual Waste Environmental Services Symposium. This year, we had 14 companies present, representing a range of waste operations, from medical and hazardous waste to socially responsible e-waste recycling. In general, the commercial and residential businesses are recession resistant, with business models that bill in advance and where revenue generation is not based on tonnage. Although still early, the industry expects increased residential volumes and costs as families stay home and lower commercial volumes as more businesses shut down. On the cost side, the industry has the ability to flex. Cost collections are around 65% variable, while a fair portion of CapEx can be delayed. In terms of liquidity, the industry generally maintains a conservative capital structure with around three times leverage and little to no near-term maturities due. Despite the likely near-term headwinds, we continue to like the North American Waste Service Operator Model because of the stable and largely reoccurring cash flow aspect of the business that allows it to be profitable in all sorts of economic environments. Put another way, waste operators provide utility-like essential services, but unlike the utility sector, waste services are largely unregulated and are able to charge market prices for collection and landfill disposal.